and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for our fun sub battle Saturday stream. This is something we do once a month, the last Saturday of the month, uh, where I play against subscribers for our whole stream. We're going to break it up into three or four parts here for y'all watching on YouTube over there. And basically how this works is we pick a subs random subscriber to play um, who's in chat ready to play and uh, we play a match. I have a wheel that I'm going to be spinning that has 45 different decks that we've been playing on stream over the last month in Throne of Eldraine Standard. So we'll pick a random deck. Um, I should have it change so it should remove the choice after it's landed on. Okay, there we go. And um, and then we'll, we'll play a match. So it's always a lot of fun because uh, everybody in chat brings their uh, decks that they, you know, like their pet pet decks uh, bring a lot of sweet brews. We're playing a different match every round, so we get to see tons of different card interactions and everything like that. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I hope y'all on YouTube enjoy this stream also. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So everybody, so all the subscribers in chat, if you want to play, this is your last chance. Uh, type the word battle into the chat, and we're going to... Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I guess I might as well have the wheel over here for us to spin. Okay. Everybody in there? It looks like it. So let's go ahead and try. Let's see who we got. Excerpts. All right, Excerpts. You are up first. So send me that gamer tag. This is There's my gamer tag right there. And let's see what deck I will be playing. In the wheel. All right, kicking off with a great one, Orzom Value. That's definitely one of my favorite decks. So kicking off with a good one. All right, so we just gotta go direct challenge. All you have to do is change it to best of three. You don't have to touch anything else. And I'm not updating the deckless command for every single match because it's. It's difficult to do to go find like the the deck list over on Stream Decker and everything. Where's Orzov Value? So I'm just showing showing the deck list before. Um, and all right, so here we go. This is our deck. It's basically a bunch of value creatures. Soren, bring them back. Charming Prince to flicker them. Um, that's about all it is. So how do you switch to best three once you hit the direct challenge? It's you hit like the down arrow and then it's it's right here. It's this thing right here that you can't quite see because of my camera. But right there, change it to format best three. Okay. All right. <laughs> and this is it's always great because I love everybody here in the chat. Um you know, cheering on the um, other members of chat. It's it's pretty awesome. Vitalia's going, team chat for the win. Paul going, you got this. XM going, let's go team chat. It's awesome. <laughs> you're you're always allowed to do to cheer for whoever you want here, Jan, but you're you're still a member of chat. Uh double six drop isn't great. My hand's pretty good, though. Yeah, and, and of course, the... Ooh, Excerpt's got the fancy sleeves. And an Orzov deck. We're going Orzov Knights, it looks like. Um... Of course, the people... For those of you watching on YouTube, the... the, the People, I'm, the subs that I'm playing against in chat are not, um, they're not watching the stream while playing, of course. They're playing a good, fair match of magic. So I guess I need to destroy the Worthy Knight, but Excerpt gets to draw an extra card because Midnight Reaper.
This is a tough call whether or not to trade with the 1-1. It's kind of better for me to have the creatures out because of Cavalier. I say no blocks. But then again, if I if I do block and trade, then I can play the Soren and bring back the Fenlurker right away and make Exer discard another card. All right, so with this Cavalier Knight coming in here. Cavaliers. Got choices here. I can basically get two things back. I can get like Cavalier of Night and Urox Fenlurker back with Command the Dread Horde. Or I could go like Liliana Minus. Liliana Minus gives, gives them like Midnight Reaper back to kill Liliana. I don't want to do this. Oh, tap a creature? Gross. I was thinking, like, even if Cavalier of Night died, we get Fenlurker back still. But then I have, you know, I have my life linking creature out there. Gross. All right, so I want this, this Devout Decree. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, those adventure art, art frames are really cool. I, I spin a wheel, Sir Elks, to, to decide what I play. Okay. I need to go back to sideboarding here. Um, there's nothing that I that I really don't like, honestly. I like all the stuff that we got. Yeah, this is, this is a tough one. I like all the stuff that we got. I'm going to take out a Rider and a Reaper and bring in a Kaiserath also. Oh, sorry, sir. Karvaki, what's up? All right, we'll go ahead and keep. Mm, 
put that down to the bottom, honestly. Maybe that's wrong. Um, Cause I, I basically I want more lands, you know. Like we we're just sitting at the, the three land right now. Wanted to get a couple more. Wanted to, uh, you know get towards Cavalier Knight, but obviously Murderous Rider is a pretty strong card. All right, so looking good for us so far. Duh. That Midnight Reaper was so good last game. Drawing those extra cards. That card is so good. Um... <laughs> yeah. That's right, Storm. I think last last time I, I killed the Worthy Knight, but I, I guess I probably should have killed the Murderous Rider. All right, Yara can help us get some more cards. <laughs> Hopefully you get picked before that, Quilteen. Um, yeah, Murderous Rider is pretty close to an auto-include. I wouldn't necessarily that it, necessarily say that it is for sure, but it's pretty close. I'm glad we put those other cards at the bottom, though, because we are just struggling with lands right now. I'm jealous of Exerp over there with the five lands. Or six lands. Alright, getting rid of the last cards they have in hand. A couple citywide busts. Exile. No, no, you can only play, yeah, you only play against me one time to try to get, you know, we want to make sure that everybody has a shot. Uh, I'm never going to play this Cavalier of Night. I guess I should just play Soren. I've been wanting to wait on the Soren, though, because I don't want the Soren just to die right away to the Order of Midnight. I mean, I guess I could tick up. Yeah, I guess I could tick up first. Mm. I abhor my need for blood. Yeah, I, I mean, I can, I can do brawl. I can definitely do a brawl also. 
So I want to get back a Yara. A Yara is the important card to get back. But again, I don't I don't want Soren to die immediately either though. So we'll just kind of keep the ticking up going. Yeah, you can do you can do whatever format you want. I don't really have a historic deck, so for historic, I'd have to just play standard, I guess. But but yeah, if you want to do like you know, if you have a best of one deck, basically I can do it so I don't sideboard. We you'd still play three game, you know, best two out of three games, but I just wouldn't sideboard. So this thing's in exile. It's not actually in their hand. As far as Fenlurker goes. That thing dealt so much damage. Oh my gosh. These epic downfalls. Been so good. That so costs eight mana. They have six right now. So down to five. Could have attacked with a Yara to put them down to three, but then Soren dies. I like just holding back, playing some defense here against these 1-1s, one and then being able to sack Fenlurker. We all make sacrifices. Ugh. These Order of Midnights have been awesome. This is looking pretty good for team chat. I don't have the mana to cast that Command the Dread Horde this next turn. <laughs> Time for a drink. I'm playing three Legion's Ends, which is what I kind of need. They didn't cast that order at midnight. They could have just activated this knight's charge. So I have 13 life. What's their life total? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
So if I'm at 13, I can do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Should kill them. With Fenlurker coming back in to do the last point of damage. Okay. Ugh. So I need this fourth Legion's End in here. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet. Um, those Order of the Midnights are really good. And they have like the ways to exile also. Okay. I'm kind of taking out a couple of cards that are that a couple more expensive cards here on the draw. I think I really need Noxious Grasp. Like the only like it doesn't seem like Noxious Grasp is killing too much, especially not the things that I'm worried about. It's like Worthy Knight is like the one thing that that's doing. I really like Charming Prince, but we need the lands, and I think we already got one Charming Prince, and I think it's good to have the two, three drops here. Yeah, I have one Kaya's Wrath in here. I, I could have put the second one in. I put one in, though. Castle Lock Twain. Ayara. I thought that was for Soren, honestly. I just have one Ayara. Do I really want this land? I'll just put them both on the bottom. Castle's coming in to play tapped, so I may not have a very good turn next turn by not keeping the Godless Shrine. Yeah, I thought Soren was going to be the name as well, honestly. Not great for me. That didn't work out very well. <laughs> no, it's all good, Cal. Yeah, you're supposed to be cheering for a team chat. You don't have to apologize for that. Curse and your progeny. Ooh, 
what a draw. So yeah, they're sacking their Midnight Reaper because they don't want to lose too much life, I'm guessing. Alright, so they get a knight back here. And we had so much extra life because of Soren, so we can, you know, do the whole shock and take all that damage. We're down to four. Hard to activate castle. Yeah, I haven't done Prince with Battleman yet. Yeah, I have not done Prince with Battleman, but yeah, this that's something I definitely need to do. So they need one more mana. Um... I thought about just just shocking in there and then activating castle to draw a card and just playing one of these things, but I get an extra card. Oh, Exerb did not draw the land. I liked. Okay, that's a good. That'll do. That's a really good quality two cards though. That'll do. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. Smelly, but effective. So close. Not bad. Our life linkers are gone. I've learned much from them. They were a lousy servant anyway. Two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I need the Soren. Yeah, I need the Soren. So that's four. If I take their Cavalier, that's five. So that's nine. So I have four extra life. Um, I don't want them to have Midnight Reaper, but I also can't really have, can't really get Midnight Reaper. All right, so yeah, I can waste not want not. I can gain 3 life. I can grab charming prince to gain 3 life. Or I can also reset. I think what I want to do is Embrace the bloodlust. 
Oh, because it's target creature I own. Right, I don't own this. I can't reset this. All right, well, I guess I'm getting three life then. Right, I was gonna I was gonna flicker the Cavalier of Night, have Cavalier of Night come back. I don't get to do that. Alright, at least it looks like we're gonna be able to untap with Soren, which is something that we need because we need this lifelink. Yeah, I guess it was lethal. I should yeah, I guess it was lethal. I missed that. If I would have if I would have minus two Liliana or minus four. Minus four Liliana, we both sacrifice two creatures. They take four damage from that, and then you know we wouldn't sacrifice Cavalier and so then they would lose another four life. Yeah, that's also true. If I would have done the minus four, they get to draw those four cards before combat, and they would have had all the, that mana, so they could have drawn instant speed removal for the Cavalier. You know, like a, a murderous rider or, or something. No, if I would say I'm not. I didn't qualify. I I forgot to stay in the top 1200 at at the end of like the months. All right, still alive. Like, is that better than just paying 8 and getting back all of these creatures? Uh, uh, try to get above 2 life. Couldn't quite. That was a really good match. Those are three pretty awesome games. That was a really good match. Top decking that Command the Dread Horde was just, you know, like that was just perfect. You know, I, um, yeah, because I guess, like, because the reason why, because, yeah, play, using Knight's Charge just lo loses to Liliana Emblem. That's true. Or, like, yeah, because I earned Liliana Ultimate. You're one mana away from winning there, Excerpts. Dang. That was so close. Yeah, great, great games there, excerpts, GGs. Okay. 
You need Knight's Charge plus Smitten Swordmaster. Oh yeah, because you drew the yeah you drew the Swordmaster, so you need a ninth land to be able to activate that, and then use the one for Swordmaster. Um, I think I was like back up to like thirteen though. I don't know if the Swordmaster would have killed me at that point because I just gained a lot of life with Soren. <laughs> Thanks, Karaki. Uh, let's see. Or oh, you said you do. Oh yeah, I guess I do. All right, let's see who is up next. So if you are a subscriber and want to be the next person to battle, type the word battle into the chat and we'll see who's up. You got about 30 seconds. Let's see who's up next. All right, we got a lot of people in here. A lot of people ready to go. I like seeing that. Okay, is everybody in there? Okay, looks like everybody's in there. Oh, whoops. Oh, no. I messed it up. Sorry, I gotta re-enter. I restarted it. Uh, I I wasn't supposed to type the word battle afterwards. I was just force a habit there. Sorry, you gotta re-enter real quick. All right, I'm gonna try to not mess it up here. All right, so hurry up, re-enter. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Yep. Excerpts. Yep. Definitely should name Soren there instead of a Yara. That was. That was, yep, should name Soren there. It just song, hairdresser there, just just do song. All right, looks like everybody got back in. Yeah, practice run done. Ian Ray, there we go, Ian Ray. Took a little bit, MTG bot was a little slow. Ian Ray, you are up next. Send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. <clears throat> okay, spinning the wheel. Let's see what I'm playing. Team or walkers? We're just playing some of my favorites right away. Okay, so make sure you change your, your direct challenge, change it over to best of three. Teamer Walkers, there you are. All right, so y'all probably know this deck. <laughs> yep. This deck was built to beat Field of the Dead. There's not too much field of the dead running around. Oh, what happened? No, get these things out of here. Or well, we tried those things that one time, but I wanted to change those back. All my two Kasminas, my Tamio, and my other coil. Okay. All right, get those back in here. All right, team chat. Gonna try to get on the board here, even it up against team or walkers. Here we go. What? I literally just took Krasis out of the deck. This thing just won't leave. It'll never leave. I can't, I can't, I can't get Krasis out of my deck. <laughs> Is on my team? I am. No, direct, direct challenges like this don't count towards your daily quests.
Alright, mold to five, still have turn to Oko. I kind of need all these lands though. So maybe. Like that one goes, but then, you know, I can't just keep two lands. So I guess I have to go turn three Oko. So I need these lands. Yep, turn three, Yoko. We're going to play real slow here. Sloco. Never mind. The Thief of Crowns has been stolen. It's been stolen away. I don't mind drawing Breeding Pool, honestly. It gets me closer to Chandra. But also put it at the bottom. Yeah, this could be a reanimator deck. Could be just a, a Grixis midrange with Hellkite at the top end. We'll have to see. Oh, that's awesome, Bert. Good job. Yeah, double Oko is really powerful. Spark double is still under underutilized, but I, like there's times whenever your opponent's interacting with you a bunch like this and you don't have anything to do with the spark double that looks bad, but having two Okos in play is just, I mean, one Oko is so powerful. Having two Okos in play is kind of absurd. I see beauty in the ordinary. Feel the heat of my I, I think, I think Ian Ray is playing a Fires of Invention deck. I think that's what like the Hellkite is like a is like a mana sink in like the Fires of Invention deck. That's what I'm calling here. The dragon does not lose. Does not lose. Because a dragon only snoozes. Hmm. Anyone who stands in my way is getting... Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Do not challenge a raging river. <laughs> a minus for the effort on the joke. Thank you. I was... I was trying. <laughs> It didn't work out too well, but I tried. Do not challenge the raging wrath. What's y'all's favorite line for any planeswalker? Which one stands out? What's your favorite line? Is there any that's better than no fire, no steel? I think the Chandra's overall, like, I, I like the Chandra's lines overall. Let's slow this down. I've done this hero thing before. It's a pretty good line. They are coming. You like Teferi's? I'm known for my excellent timing. And then also, sorry I'm late. <laughs> that is pretty weird. Uh. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? <laughs> no pressure. Hope it's not too hot for you. More emblems. More Chandras. The winds to victory. <laughs> Dragon does rather die than lose. <laughs> Yeah, Ral Ral has some some puns over there. <laughs> like when Davriel goes, "Ooh, sorry." I don't know that one. Hey Samantha. Yep, it's sub battle day. It's the last Saturday of the month. Sub battle Saturday. 
All right, so let's bring in blue and green spells. We're going to cut red spells. I think I... Yeah, we're going to get rid of Grazer. I think I kind of want to get rid of Spark Double. Wait, get rid of this Nissa. Get rid of these Krasis. They're not even supposed to be in my deck. You can just leave. You know, this is a good matchup for Hydroid Krasis. But whatever. See ya. This is not a good Spark Double match. Because a deck that like interacts and is like, killing all your Planeswalkers and stuff is not a great time to have Spark Double. But Spark Double's cooler than Hydro Crisis, so... Hey, get back in here, Sarkin. Where are you trying to go? Yeah, you can do Brawl. Yep. I have my two Brawl decks that we played the other day. I have Ayara and Kethis. Hey, Dangazak. Yeah, that's that's a good line. Whenever Ral goes, choose wisely, because the other one is going bye bye. That's just perfect with that plus ability. Yep, we got Toko. Also known as Turn 2 Oko. Toko. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Who says that one? That is a good one. Raska 4? Okay. I have practiced again with thoughtfulness before action. Oh, I like I like uh Garrick's lines, the the um was it the, is it just the um we are the night veil predators no not that we are the hone your prowess apex i knew i couldn't i couldn't think of that word apex predators we are the Apex Predators. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, three mana Chandra has some good ones. Go get them, buddies. Scottish intensifies with my sister by my side. I can do anything. <laughs> the, the Scottish intensifies. Those are a couple lame lines. What know you of dragons? Well, normally... Normally this would be where I... Turn that dragon into an elk. Got me spy glassed over there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's tap the the one green source that I have because I have this fail summer in hand. It's a good idea.
Dugan. My presence alone will guide you towards victory. How could my blasts do not include you? Come on. I don't like that attack. Oh no! Ah. Who are you to call me mad? At least we got the shock land. I forgot. To, I forgot with the auto tapper. They are coming. Yeah, because that attack, even even if it wasn't for the Sarkin passive ability, I'd be able to just double block and trade one dragon for their five five. Like that's they they have to just sit back and play defense there with the five five. I just can't beat an attack. Planeswalker passives are just so lame, though. All right, Spark Double winning that one. The underrated Spark Double getting that one. GG's there, Ian. GG's. That, see, that should be a Planeswalker passive. That is, no Planeswalkers have a passive ability. That should be one. GG's, Ian Ray. Uh, no, Bertalux. I don't. I don't think Ashiok is mandatory sideboard anymore with Field of the Dead gone. Okay. All right. So let's let's see who is up next. So if you are a subscriber, you want to play next, type the word "battle" into the chat right now. You gotta be a subscriber, and then you can represent Team Chat. Oko should have a passive ability, I agree. We need to make that card a little bit better. It's not quite good enough. Ah, uh, yeah, you can't yeah, you can't really play around Veil. So you had ego in hand and you were gonna ego Sarkin. But I had Veil of Summer up the whole time, so you couldn't... Yeah, that's that's tough. Um, you know, you can just fire off the Ego, and then then after you fire it off, then you have, like, Elder Spell and stuff like that available. But, yeah, Veil, Veil of Summer is so powerful as well. You know, I got to play... You know, I was playing, like, my five-mana Planeswalkers, four man, you know, four or five-mana Planeswalkers, and then still having Counterspell up for one mana. Okay, looks like everybody's in there. Reverium. 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 All right, Reverium, send me that gamer tag. You're up next. Yeah, I that's what I figured the year of fire's invention and yeah, you didn't so you didn't see one either game. That's that's rough. There's my gamer tag to copy paste over there. All right, let's see what deck I'm playing up next. Mono black value, okay. So similar to Orza value, except for no Charming Prince or Sauron. S Sauron? Probably just Sauron. All right, make sure you switch it over to best of three. Just this this one right here to change that to be best of three. You don't have to change anything else. All right, so let's take a look at mono black value. It's been a it's been a minute since we've played this deck. Let's 
So here we go. Mono black value. Ah, where'd it go? There it goes. Um, I don't know. There could probably be just a fourth castle in here. I don't know. I guess I just I just had three in here. Oh, I didn't switch my avatar. I need to switch my avatar to be some evil planes, like some evil entity, like the the army of the dead one, or something. Or Nicobolus works. Oh. Wow, we got a Cauldron Familiar deck against Mono Black Value. This is going to be a bunch of pinging back and forth. Exile Cat. That's step one. Oh, that's right. That's why, because this deck is because we're a Dread Presence deck, and we want a lot of swamps in the deck. So that's why we're only playing three. Because we want to try to get because we want lots and lots of swamps because of Dread Presence. That's why it's just three of the castles. All right, they got the oven. Make them discard a card. Now exile the last one. So Rankle can make us both sacrifice. So we can make them sacrifice the Mayhem Devil, but it does still trigger the Devil. Um, So if I sacrifice it's one point of damage, they sacrifice, that's another point of damage. I think it's worth it. Um, I'm not sure, Ghost Leader. Maybe, does anybody in chat, can anybody in chat help Ghost Leader with changing the language there? I, I do not know, honestly. Do you have, like, a... Say done. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not exactly sure. Okay. So we got Jund Sacrifice. I want these extra ends for the cats. Wrinkle is not as good here.
Yeah, I'm just going to take out the two wrinkles. I feel like my opponent doesn't mind sacrificing stuff. Yep, there you go, Alpha. Yep, got to root for team chat. Well, that looks like a very good hand. Why doesn't Burglar Rat have a card style? Nobody cares about those little rats. So Riverium already mulligan to six. So Burglar Rat basically makes it like a mold of five. This and Fenlurker are just like are pretty powerful. Like they're underrated cards. You know, Burglar Rat already traded with Vraska Golgari Queen. Like that's pretty good. Yeah, I should make a a mono black discard, or maybe maybe Demir discard, um, with yeah with Davriel, all of these things with the one mana card that the opponent discards a cards and and mills a, you know mills one discards a card like that you know that one. Put them all together. Vicious Rumors. Yeah, so Vicious Rumors, a bunch of those. I don't know exactly what we do to win. Yeah, Vicious Rumors is in standard still, yep. And then yeah, could could go disinformation campaign with thought erasure by going Demir. Price of Fame is a pretty good removal spell. It's a good call for its, for that surveil there. Probably play like something like into the story to just refuel the hand. Gonna need things to refuel. Definitely want Rankle. I'm not sure if we want Scheming Symmetry to go along with Vicious Rumors.
Alright, Reverium is down to four. Did make a comeback. Pretty great draw step. Rise and shine. Liliana was a pretty great draw step. No, oh, well, this was unpleasant. Okay, team chats back against the wall. Okay, we are, or by we, I mean, I guess me, sorry. All right, three and O. Oh. Okay. Yep, you're just letting me think that, that I'm ahead here. There we go. Hey, it's all it's all good, Reverium, GG's. There's the, the cat oven deck. Uh, I'm not sure where Boot is. Boot was in Discord earlier today and everything. Yeah, it's not easy. I don't I don't take it easy. Yeah, Legion's End. That's a, such a good card. I I mean I drew really well both of those games. I really did. I drew I drew really well both of those games. Alright, so you gotta be a subscriber. And then it, so if you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. And you could be the next person to play. <laughs> All right, and and uh, how I decide what deck I I play, I'm I'm uh, spinning the wheel. I have, you know, I've hit three of like my favorite decks so far, and um, and also I've been drawn very well, also. Oh yeah, that's right. It's Boots' birthday today. Hey, there we go. Boots here. Happy birthday, Boot. Boots here. Always here. I literally just logged on. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Okay, so I think everybody's in there. Let's see who's up next. We have Chaos. All right, Chaos. Send me that gamer tag. Happy boot day. <laughs> All right, there's my gamer tag. Let's see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. What do we got? Sultai Control. I honestly don't really know what's in this Ultai Control deck. I don't remember. No, nope, there's no Simic Flash on the wheel. I saw that we had Sultai Control in here from a long time ago. I didn't check to see what, you know, it was just on, on the decks here. I didn't check to see exactly what was in it. I don't really quite remember. Where is it? I must have passed it. Soul tie, not tokens, not your rock foods, control. Perfect. Thanks, Chaos. I got that. All right, so what do we got? We got a bunch of six mana planeswalkers. Oh, yeah, this deck's pretty good. We're playing this one. We get Thought Erasure, Removal Spells, a couple of Ritual of Sets. Yeah, this deck's good. Cool. Alright, so we're going to do this. 
Okay. Oh, for the for the options, make sure you change it to best of three. And let me just double check, make sure I'm on best of three. Oh. Yep. So this one right here, just change that to best of three. Don't need to change anything else. Everything else stays the same. All right, so make sure, yeah, so, so Chaos, make sure you're on best of three there. All right, perfect. There we go. All right, good luck. Um, I guess so. It's looking like a slow hand. I'm going to go ahead and Fable Passage for Island first. Because I had like this deck has like Thought Erasure and stuff like that in it. I'm gonna be resetting Arena after this match, and so we'll we'll kind of do a reset and and start. Um, you know, finish this YouTube video here after this match. Then we'll do you know do part two and and stuff. No, I have not. There's that island. No, I've not won any pro tours. Corpse Knight. Okay. So it looks like we got an Abzan Drain Life deck here. To watch kings grovel. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Abzan Knights? Abzan Zombies. Could be Abzan Zombies. I would be surprised if it's the X equals zero comp, like if it's an X equals zero combo deck, but that is an option. Let's broaden your existence. So Corpse Knight is ET is an ETB trigger, not not a die trigger. <laughs> Living da vida oko. No, murderous rider. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play Breeding Pool and pass the turn. Looks like Chaos is struggling with lands over there. Alright, so Celebrant is a die trigger. Looks like I should have Ritual of Sit last turn. I do hope you make this battle exciting. Wow. This looks like a fun new toy. Ooh, you're gifting you're gifting out subs boot? Aw, oh, thanks. Yeah, trivia, that's a great way to do it. Making it difficult to kill to kill them. Uh, 
All right, so they're going to draw five cards this turn. Wish I had a Narset. I'm going to draw three cards, though. I guess I should attack. Okay, so, all right, y'all, so, there's, um, yeah, there's trivia going on right now by Boot. Siwookie's got the first one. Uh, it is X equals zero combo deck. Well. So we got to counter that. Need to keep this Liliana around. Oh, I can't counter that. They only have two cards in the graveyard. Fine, I'll leave. Why did Legion's End exile a card? That's not good. Okay, so we're down to nine. If I shock in here, I'm at seven. But I think I'm supposed to do that. Be able to have Drown in the Lock available. There's four cards over there in the graveyard now. And I, I don't think I counter Forever Young. I guess Forever Young makes it so that Drown the Lock doesn't counter stuff, though, if they just put a whole bunch of things on top. Do they have to target first before it resolves? So they put three on top, they'd have one and then two for Forever Young. They'd have two cards left. This 
I'm not attacking for lethal because of that cruel settlement trigger. On the murderous rider. I get to draw one card. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to be ritual of sitting here. There's a deck called Full English Breakfast. All right, so that blocks Krasis. They don't have anything to block Questing Beast, though. I think my opponent may have forgotten about Questing Beast. That puts them up to four. They were in a tough spot. For sure, though. Okay, so definitely getting this extra Legion's End in here. Um, never actually did cast that Ritual of Set. All right, gonna bring in the ritual so gonna bring in a couple Ashiox, a couple Veil of Summers. We're going to cut the Ugin, trim a couple Murderous Riders, a trophy, and two Thought Erasures. No, I'll get rid of a Goldberry Queen and a Thought Erasure. All right. Siwuki's one trivia and the most correct. Okay. Pretty good hand. Man is a little rough with the, the Fable Passage for turn three. I'm hoping to draw another land where I can have Fable Passage turn four. You know, have like Temple, then Tomb, then X land off the top, then Passage. This is going to be a, a tough one for Chaos to beat.
<clears throat> so if I play Oko, Oko dies to this questing beast. Alphaneer getting the gifted sub. Welcome to the channel, Alphaneer. And thank you so much there, Boot. Well, I guess there's no... There's no second green source for Chaos. So I guess you could always cycle Forever Young. Just cast it and cycle it. I guess it's always an option. Your king, wild and sovereign and free. Welcome to the feast. I see you don't share my vision. Okay. So there they go, they're cycling forever young. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms rule. Oh dear. Alright, we'll get rid of the Midnight Reaper ability to draw more cards. Ashiok looks pretty silly. Looks pretty un unnecessary. Of course, I'm just saving a trophy I'm for Questing Beast. Your ways. If Questing Beast ever comes up. Not casting Midnight Rider. Surely you must be famished. Beast Whisper is really cool with a bunch of zeros. That's really cool.
draw this extra card now. Crisis needs more card draw. That's what Hydro Crisis needs. I need you. Yes, Ashiox looking kind of silly. Peace Whisper. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Um Just pass the turn. Not really doing anything here with any of these cards. I could cast Thought Erasure just to surveil one, but I think I'd rather just hold on to it. Uh, planning next turn to... Um, to exchange food token for Beast Whisper again, and then play new Oko. Mine is yours, and yours is mine. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I think I can just uh, start attacking. I think we can do that now. All right, see you, Ashiok. You just kind of mill 20 cards. I don't know if that'll really help too much or not. We'll see. So if I want to... Sir Zapdos! One trivia part two. If I want to activate this castle, it's gonna cost me three life. I think we got three life to activate though with food tokens from Oko. It's not poisoned. Trust me. And Frost Thief. Getting the sub as well. Welcome to the channel, Frost Thief. Mm. That hurts. <laughs> Thanks, Boot. Happy birthday again. Thank you so much. So oh no, don't go on Oko, I guess. 
yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Probably should just do Garrick. Looks like you weren't fit to survive. One bite, and all your cares are gone. And AJ. All right. Have a good have a good birthday, boo. Alright, there we go. Beast Whisperer drawing multiple cards. Yeah, just stick around here, munchies. You're not scared of dogs, are you? I think a little merriment. All right. <clears throat> oh, chaos at GG. Oh, I missed that. Sorry, I was gonna chat, but yeah. That sounds like control deck looked really powerful. I should probably revisit that deck. That does look really powerful. Maybe going, you know, Thought Erasure route instead of um, instead of Gilded Goose and everything. Maybe I should I should revisit that deck. I definitely should. Sultai kind of seems like the best color combination right now, though, as well. Okay, so started off with, with a lead here, but Team Chat is going to work their way back. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you hit the like button over there. hope you enjoy our sub battle streams. Oh, I always do. These are a lot of fun. As you see, we get to see so many different decks play against each other. So that's the end of part one. So if you're watching on, on YouTube, make sure you click on over to part two. There we're, we're going to start right now. So see you there. Thanks for watching.